Hi, my name is Byron Martin here at Logis Greenhouses. The business was started in 1892 by my grandfather, and one of the oldest plants we have in the greenhouse is our Ponderosa lemon tree. This is a lemon that is a hybrid between the citron, which produces a very large, um, somewhat pointed fruit, and the table lemon. And this original tree came to us in 1900. So the Ponderosa lemon is actually at one time was thought to be a New World plant. It was called the American Wonder Lemon, but the origin of it was traced back to Italy, where the hybrid was made between the citron and the lemon. The Ponderosa lemon is a very easy plant to grow, and as you can see, it produces these huge fruit. Here's a very large one that we have up here. This is probably one of our bigger ones for the season right here. That probably goes up to maybe two pounds, uh, maybe actually almost three pounds of fruit. We have had them weigh as much as five pounds, which makes a fruit that's even larger than this. Most of them are about this size right here that we get off of the tree. The culture of this is like most citrus, where we grow them under as much direct sunlight as possible. This uh, is in a greenhouse where we have light coming in on all sides. In a home situation, you'd want a south window, east or west minimum. To get fruiting on citrus, they really need that higher light level. As far as um, growing in containers go, it's like, again, it's like most citrus. Their greatest stress is on the root system, where root disease is a prominent issue. So it's about watering them and drying them down and watering and drying them down. Citrus can actually take more drought stress than most of us um, are aware of. So it's better to err on the dry side, and that really creates air going down into the soil, which keeps the root system healthy. Also. As these are what I would call ever-growing as opposed to seasonal growing, uh, they grow quite fast. And one of the issues in growing the Ponderosa lemon as a young plant is to get the plant large enough before you let it hold fruit. And they will stop fruiting immediately um, from a young cutting. This is all of our plants are grown by cutting here. And so they will, within the first year, stop producing flowers and try to produce fruit. And you can let them do that, it's just that the weight of the fruit can get so large it'll rip branches off. So the best thing to do is to spend a little bit of time when you first start culturing them and allow them to get a nice thick branch uh, structure to them that can actually hold the weight of the fruit. Now in a container the fruit will never get this big initially. It takes quite a few years before the strength of the plant can make a fruit that large. But this is certainly the size of a fruit that you can get off of um, a small lemon tree. The flowering and fruiting cycle, as I said, is throughout the year, but mainly right now in this Christmas season is when the fruit ripens. And then as the season goes on, they'll start shedding its fruit if we don't pick them. It goes back into flower and the cycle continues. As far as um, insects are concerned and diseases, as I mentioned, root disease is really the biggest problem in their culture. Insects also can be a problem. Um, plants like this are, citrus like this are prone to spider mite and of course the scale and mealybug problems that plague most citrus. So one needs to keep an eye on that uh, when you're growing them. Make sure you don't let those insects get out of hand. Usually if you put the plants out in the summertime all that disappears, but uh, generally a rule of thumb before you bring them in in the fall, get some neem oil and spray the plants thoroughly with it, whether you see insects or not. And that usually gives you good control so you can get through to the um, beginning of the next growing season. Also in growing citrus, we must uh, pay attention to fertilizer as container grown plants do need to be fed. Plants that need a regular application of fertilizer in containers, don't overdo it as always. There are some great organic citrus fertilizers that you can use and they all work um, uh, fine in terms of putting out growth and flowers. So in terms of lemons, this um, is a great lemon for um, culinary work. You make uh, lemon pies out of it, or you can use the lemon juice to make lemonade. And you can see if we cut that open, that there's the interior of it. You got your seeds, and you can see the, the rind is relatively thick, and that um, thick rind is actually related to the citron. And of course, yeah, that's sour. Yep, that's sour. So, Whatever your recipe, whether it be um, making lemonade or lemon pie or your flavoring um, dishes with it, Ponderosa is a great lemon to um, grow and use and very productive as a container plant. Remember, give your lemon tree full sun, watch your watering, 
uh, fertilize on a regular basis during the growing season. In no time you'll be enjoying the fruits of your work. If you'd like more information on our lemons, you can go to logis.com.